I'm Marguerite Harkness. I'm chairwoman of Save Lakewood Hospital. Why are you putting all this energy into this project, into saving Lakewood Hospital? It's the most important asset. It's the most important asset our city owns. It's owned by us, the citizens. It isn't owned by the clinic. It isn't owned by the mayor. It isn't owned by city council. And they are trying to take it from us. We need to keep our hospital to serve our medical needs. What did you think the first time that you heard that uh, there was a move to close the hospital? I was enraged, along with a great many of our other members. When I went to the first meeting, it was present community forum that the mayor and company held. It was presented as though this is a done deal. This is how we're progressing. We'll have other meetings to keep you up to date on how this is moving along. But some of us were not willing to put up with that. Many of us in Lakewood knew services have been removed from Lakewood Hospital Continu on a continual basis. We have lived through this. We've seen this for many years. Things are disappearing, departments are disappearing, beds are disappearing, uh, services are no longer available, services are only available at other hospitals. It's been happening under our noses. We have known this. And for them to announce it and say that they're going to open a new hospital in Avon when we have 52,000 people living within two miles of Lakewood Hospital. And the mayor is telling us we don't need hospital beds anymore. People don't stay in the hospitals anymore. But they're building 110 beds in Avon. Of course that makes no sense. We know that this has been done behind closed doors and behind our backs. So there were things we were being told that we knew were not right. For instance, not needing hospital beds. Well, we know that we need hospital beds, maybe not as many as we needed 20 years ago, but we know that's a falsehood. As a CPA, I'm very interested in the economics of this deal. Any community that had a, a hospital approach them to say, we would like to put a hospital in your community, what do you think, would jump at the chance. They would do whatever they could to encourage that hospital to come in. They would uh, help the hospital find nice housing in their nicer sections for their employees. They would have the realtors taking them on nice evening wine and cheese tours of nice residential areas. Um, very much want to promote their city to that hospital or hospital system to tell them why this is such a great place to live and to work. In our case, the money's going the other way. I told City Council in, maybe it was March, that they needed to do an economic impact study to determine what is the value of the hospital and its, its services, its employees, its spending in the Lakewood community. Nobody on City Council did that. It's understandable. Not one of them is an accountant and the uh, city finance director apparently isn't either. She, she could only come up with how much income, city income tax they would lose, a million dollars. No big deal to her. They can, they can cover that somehow or other. They've done it before. No big problem. Our research department committee um, found the Iowa Hospital Asso Hospitals Association, that's the statewide organization of hospitals in the state of Iowa, their economic impact study and forwarded that information to me. I used that as a format. They could, they could tell, uh, their reports showed how, many, how much salary was paid to all of the hospital employees in Iowa, how many employees there were in hospitals in Iowa, and the average pay was $59,000. In most cities, that's one of the highest paid jobs in town, other than executives, maybe high-level high lawyers and so forth. That's one of the highest paid working people jobs in town. I divided our Lakewood salary of about 60 million by 1,100 employees, and our number came to about $59,000 a year per employee. So I considered that was a fair starting point, and I, I worked through the rest of their numbers. They knew that for every job in the hospital, three other jobs are created in the community.
So our 1,100 jobs in the hospital mean there are 4,400 jobs in the community. These other jobs are everything we have in town. It's doctors, nurses, dentists, hygienists, it's grocery stores, it's the bank, it's the remodelers, it's the gas stations, it's um, even our bars, our restaurants. Everything that we spend money on, so do all of the hospital employees. The hospital buys supplies. Hospitals have, there are nursing homes nearby. There's a ratio of how many nursing homes are likely to be in the vicinity of a hospital. We have several that are just down the street from the hospital. There's uh, Annis Court, there's, um, the Westerly is not a nursing home, but it's, it's a senior living center, and uh, O'Neill Healthcare on Bunce. There are several that are just five minutes from Lakewood Hospital. So all of these other jobs are created because you have a hospital in the community. The, um, the Im economic impact of one employee in the hospital, one job of $59,000 a year, generates about $250,000 of spending in the community because of these other jobs that come along because of the hospital being there. If you take 1,100 jobs and work through the math that I did, I arrived at $296 million annual spending in the city of Lakewood because of the 1,100 jobs in Lakewood Hospital, $296 million. Lakewood Hospital is the largest employer in town. The economic development director for the city of Lakewood says, oh, we don't, we, we're not a company town. We don't have one real big employer. We have lots of small companies and they average 2.7 employees per employer, per company. So he doesn't think this is important. I think 1,100 jobs are important. 1,100 top paying jobs. The day after we published my economic impact study showing $296 million of annual economic activity in Lakewood. The Cleveland Clinic finally produced theirs for 2013. It took them 16 months to do theirs. It took me about two weeks. Their numbers uh, claimed a 12, not just Lakewood, this is clinic overall, $12.6 billion economic impact throughout all of their communities total with 48,000 employees. That divides out that each employee is worth $262,500 of spending in the community where that employee works. So they think it's 262,000 per employee. I think it's 250,000 per employee. Their 262,000 times 1,100 employees works out to $288 million economic benefit in Lakewood every year. 288 million per them, 296 million per my computations, I'm happy to accept their number. If they were coming into town, they would brag about this and say, we're bringing $288 million of annual spending into your community, wouldn't you like that? What they don't say is, it's really bad when it's going out. 